All right, today we're going to be continuing our series on the gram-positive rods, and this video is going to focus on the Corini bacterium. We've already talked about Bacillus anthracis and Clostridium, so if you haven't seen those videos yet, go back and watch those. So of these gram-positive rods, Corini bacterium and Listeria are going to be the non-spore forming. And you can see that on this slide. If you've watched my previous videos, you've seen, you're familiar with this slide already, so we'll just move on. Okay, so this is a disease caused by uh, Corini bacterium diphtheriae, pseudomembranous pharyngitis. Sometimes you'll see a question about this on your exams. So you got to know that C. diphtheria is going to cause pseudomembranous pharyngitis. So what is that? It is an inflammation of the pharynx or the back of the throat. And sometimes you might see it asked as an upper respiratory inf infection. Uh, quality of C. diphtheria is that it has metachromatic granules. These granules are blue-red. They are so C. diphtheria grows on telluride agar, and you'll often see questions on metachromatic granules, and you have to know that they're associated with two different bugs. So you have to differentiate between C. diphtheria and Pseudomonas. So pseudomonas you have to be careful of because it's a gram-negative rod and C. diphtheriae is a gram-positive rod. So for example, you might get a question like this. Uh, you get a lab diagnosis back from a gram-positive rod with metachromatic granules grown on telluride agar and you'd have to choose which bug it is and they would have definitely have pseudomonas as one of the answer choices and they would have C. diphtheria in there. So the thing that's giving it away for us is that, uh, you know, C. diphtheria is a gram positive rod. So really all this question is asking you to do is distinguish between the G gram positive and the gram negative rods. And so uh, Pseudomonas is grown on McConkie's agar and it is blue green in color as far as the, met the metachromatic granule is blue green. So I have a note down here, you have to be on your A game with noticing gram positive and gram negative. You have to have that down cold. That should be the very first thing you hone in on on all of these microbiology questions. You should ask yourself how are they trying to trick me on this on the gram positive and the gram negative. As long as you know your gram positive and gram negative uh, you can answer a lot of these questions. A okay, lysogenic conversion. So we talked about this in one of our previous videos on the bacteriophage. So C. diphtheria is an example of lysogenic uh, conversion.